Today I'm going to show you how to use the IP config command in Windows. It's one of the most useful network commands in uh, Windows, particularly for troubleshooting. So let's just start off first. We're going to type IP config without any switches. And it gives you, uh, that's the quickest way to find um, uh, the IP address uh, of a machine. So right here, the, the uh, active uh, Ethernet adapter here, it has the uh, address of it. It's right up here. So this is the Ethernet adapter here. IP address. It gives it an IP version 4 and version 6 IPs. Uh, but even more useful than this, a lot of times I, I type conf IP config with the uh, all dash or slash ALL switch because it gives us it gives more information on it. It actually gives the f physical addresses and uh, of the cards and it gives um, just more information overall. And uh, it, it actually gives you uh, the IP address of the DNS server, uh, and the DHCP server. So it gives you a lot of information. It actually gives you information on the descriptions of the controllers and everything. So it's a good diagnostic tool just to type IP config slash all uh, right off. Uh, and it gives you, gives you a lot of uh, information. So you may want to mess with that. Become familiar with all the stuff that's on there. It's hard to even list off all the information it really gives you. So the next thing is in case you forget the switches and this works on um, most commands if you go slash question mark IP config slash question mark it will give you a list of all the switches and what they do and uh, some of the ones to be aware of are uh, slash release because that will release an IP so if you're having problems with two machines conflicting and they have the same IP address you can release the IP address so you would just go IP config slash release and then to get a new IP address you can go slash I uh, slash renew uh, and uh, that that will give you a new it will have, go back to the D uh, HCP server and get a new address for you. The other command that you want to know is this one right here, which is uh, slash FL USH DNS flush DNS slash flush DNS. That's very useful because if, you, if you're having problems with DNS servers, like you took one offline and put another one offline or you're troubleshooting DNS servers, uh, that will flush the DNS and get it a new DNS, and it will update everything. Uh, it will also, if you updated something in the DNS, uh, flushing the DNS will reset it so that it goes back to the DNS. Uh, because um, in networking and computing in general, a lot of times uh, the machine only goes back to the network or to a database or whatever a certain amount of times or every so often. So like when you boot the machine up, usually... One reason to reboot the machine is because it will go back out a lot of times to find the DNS. But during the day, it's set to only go out a certain number of times to check if the DNS uh, resets. So if you do something to a DNS and you want to test to see if it works, a lot of times you will have to uh, uh, f flush the DNS on the machine to make sure it works or reboot it. And sometimes you have to do both to get it to just release sometimes so those are ways you can release the dns to, to test a new dns or if you change something and you need to get other people's machines to work uh, usually you can have them reboot but if you're having problems the flush dns will should fix it without rebooting uh, all right so those are the those are the commit or those are the main switches that you can use Remember to use the uh, slash question marking. You can explore some of these other uh, uh, switches, but those aren't used as often. The ones that I showed you 
all slash all and then it's, that's in the example slash renew uh, and slash release and then the slash uh, flush DNS those are the main uh, switches to remember on IP config.